Hi guys, welcome to this video. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a review of the uh, HP uh, U27 4K wireless monitor now that I've been using it for about a month. Uh, just to give you an insight into what I've been doing. So I've got it in a screensaver mode now and the, the dark levels on it. So you can see the difference between the, my laptop monitor and this monitor because obviously it's difficult to um, you know, to show you what the monitor actually looks like when it's on a compressed video uh, that's on a website that you're watching on your monitor at home. Um, but I'll do my best to show you around and just show you some images, show you kind of the color range and everything and, and the reproduction of it. Um, so the black levels, this is a little bit lifted compared to the, uh, the monitor and it's a little bit less glossy than the monitor. So it has a, uh, a ripped screen, you know, reflection reduction on it. Um, so I'll just, uh, log in on here so you can see this is now, uh, just using the same background image um, for the for the shots and you can see the difference uh, there between in the in the brightness and in the you know general kind of um, color set of one but you can see that the the laptop monitor is a little bit brighter than the uh, than the desktop monitor slight difference in it not major um, but yeah, certainly can be noticeable. Um, and But when you're working on it, it's good to, you know, monitor not so bright. I mean, it's it's definitely bright enough, serviceable, and uh, and it's good. It's just not as uh, not as bright as uh, as say as the laptop monitor. It's a 27 inch display. It can be a little bit difficult to see some details and things like that on it, and the menus. And underneath here, they can be a little bit, um, you know, like tricky to go through and, and navigate, but there's nothing too taxing within it. Uh, jump down to information, says so information about the monitor. I'm actually using HDMI at the moment on it. And you can see that it's at 194 backlit hours. So that's how much I've been using it over this first month. I've been using it pretty much every day. Works pretty well for editing seem to do a good job um you know bring it up and i can bring my image up full screen and with it being 4k and i'm working on 4k images it works works really well together and um, overall i'm very happy it has built-in speakers and it can be difficult uh, because you have to control the volume on the monitor itself you can't control them from your laptop so you do actually have to go in to the monitor and adjust the uh, volume controls um it comes with only a hdmi cable but i mean that plugged in easily enough and it's given me good image reproduction good co good color quality it doesn't come with a usb a cable included so you can plug it into your computer and then get access to the usb ports without buying a separate cable so it'd be nice if they included um that cable and with it as well just to you know give you extra usb ports when you when you're working it has a uh, headphones out as well from it so you can plug your headphones directly into your monitor if you want to use the monitor sound but i've mostly just been using my laptop sound because then at least i can adjust it from from my laptop um so with it being 27 inches sometimes you have to get in really close to see um, the detail on things because obviously each pixel is very very close to one another i have had issues with kind of seeing some things when i'm working in certain software the text can be very very small um, and can be difficult to see exactly what it is that's going on you know you're getting close and then you can you have to sometimes get in very close to the monitor but i mean when you use it on a desk like this it's a decent size uh, you certainly get a lot of 
of image real estate from it and for editing and uh, photo touch up and things like that it's good you can you know zoom in and see a lot of the detail in uh, everything that you're working on the monitor is adjustable it can be uh, tilted forward by about five degrees and backwards by about 15 degrees um, and is also adjustable in height uh, it has quite a good height range um, and it's a really smooth action and easy to adjust um, it also has rotation on it um, of quite a large degree um, either side so you can position it decently on your desk and uh, you know be able to see um, clearly what's on the monitor especially if you don't have a lot of a lot of desk space uh, it's very smooth action so in summary it's a really good monitor uh, it has good color reproduction um, and is you know very adjustable uh, it's easy to set up it's not too heavy it's like the brightness of the panel is nice the uh, you know contrast is is good um, and yeah I'm, I'm really happy with it I'm really enjoying using it um, and it's it's set up nicely I haven't used the wireless setting of it because I don't believe the Mac allows you to uh, wirelessly, wirelessly connect into it but um, other than that I've really enjoyed using this monitor um, and it really has allowed me to see a lot more kind of detail in the videos that I'm working on and especially uh, the range of light and dark within um, a shot so that I can see if I'm actually clipping um, you know images and things like that I can reduce them down and, and see that much more detail uh, within them for when I publish them if I had to give it a score I'd probably score it at about a 8 out of 10 it's um, decently priced um, the size is good for a, a monitor and a, and a setup using here I say you'd have to get in close to see some of the details and not being able to control the sound from uh, the computer itself is uh, really the only downside uh, that I've found to it but everything else you know the ability to adjust its position and and, and move it around and uh, the lightness of it and uh, yeah you know the image quality the panel quality is is really nice so i'd probably give it yeah eight out of ten overall